Is it finally time? This is by our friend GM concerning the spirituality of the times. He says, hello. Revelation 13, 17. And so that it is not possible to buy or sell them unless he has a mark, the name of the beast or the number of his name. The digital euro is coming and changing everything in payments. It's not only the euro in Europe, but also the digital dollar in the States. I believe they said that the timing is in July. So the benefits for households and businesses. And as the uh, prophecy goes, without me, no one can do anything. If we do not understand it, if we do not fear what's coming, what we bring with our apostasy, if we do not start prayer according to each one's strength, the freedom of the soul is over. We're not going to provoke the intervention of Christ to free us because only he can. If we do not say a Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me prayer. If we do not dedicate five minutes, 10 minutes a day to him, no one can get us out of Satan's delusion that he cares about us and that he wants our good and has convinced us of this. Revelation thirteen eighteen, here is the wisdom. Let him who has a mind vote for the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is XXX. Anyone who thinks that digital conveniences are for our good is in error, is in the dark, has a taste of hell, his soul hurts and takes medicines that he thinks are medicines. The digital world is the world of demons. Unless a grain of wheat falls on the ground and dies, it remains alone, but if it dies, it bears much fruit. The hope of the world is us, Christianity, and only we can well see, still see a little bit of the light, a little bit more of the truth. We're like the seed that is in the ground and is sleeping, waiting to burst and generate, germinate, but it needs a little rain, a little grace of God. The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. The grain called faith Christianity looks fallen in the soil and dead. The time is approaching for it to germinate and give glory to the only Lord Christ. And he who has an icon of him somewhere in the home, somewhere in the car, somewhere in his heart, God has a way of watering his, this seed and waking it up to begin to see and discern Christ who already has him hidden in his heart. Our strength is our prayer. Whoever can, as much as they can, whenever they can, bean by bean fills a bag and plants the uh, uh, New World Order overturned. The plans of New World Order are overturned in this way. And this is the only way there will be a glimpse, otherwise welcome to the beast and whoever endures. And he says, good enlightenment and beginning of repentance. And this I've shared for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.